In this week's video tech tip, we're gonna showcase section views. But not just your basic section views, we're gonna show you how to use some great tools added to the section view tool set a few years ago so you can easily make some really great looking section views. Let's start by taking a section view. Now, there are two methods for sectioning your model, planar and zonal. Planar is the traditional section view, and we'll look at that first. You pick a plane to slice through the model so you can expose inner details. I like to use these buttons to quickly use the default planes, like front, top, and right. Now, so far, this isn't anything special, just general section view functionality. But here's the tip, the option to include and exclude components in section views. This was added in 2014 and offers a way to target the section view behavior so that it only cuts the components you truly want. Here, I have it set to include components. This means the section view plane will cut only these components and leave the others alone. Just graphically pick the ones you want, like this. See how the section view applies to these two components and only these two components? And if you want to modify it and add components, it's easy. See, it looks like I missed a component. So you just go back to the section view and add it to the selection. See how easy it is to make really complicated looking section views? Now, the next tip is using zonal section views. Zonal sections was introduced in 2015, and it's a different method to create complicated section views. Zonal section works similar to planar sections in that you pick planes to slice the model, but they're different in that you select the zone created by the intersection of these planes. Here's what I mean. Here I have three planes chosen, and I just graphically pick the zone I want to slice the model. In this case, you can see that with these three planes, there are a possible eight zones to pick from. And I'll pick three because that's what I want to use to create the section view for this model. And there you have it, an intersection zone. And that's how you can use these two great tools to create awesome looking, complicated section views with ease in SOLIDWORKS.